Oh yeah, yeah. Um, 12:07 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. It is August 31st, 2022, Wednesday. Seven minutes past the flip of the clock, and we're on the Eastern Standard Time. XRP, and this is why I haven't gone short yet. It's still in this volatile swing, and I talked about it. I don't know if anybody watching right now is in my live. Some of you were on Twitch, and then just some of the stuff I've replayed. We have to account for these little reversals here. We haven't cracked this 3270 in the area right here. It's 3275. We haven't cracked that and used it as resistance yet. We're in the process of trying. But we haven't done it yet. And it's in our best interest to break this. Because right now we have this inverted head and shoulders pattern that I've talked about for a long time. And it absolutely could come back up to like 64 cents. If it were to break through, break out... And I don't want to be like, oh, you know, I'm, I'm the bearer of bad news either way. But we have to take into account if this uptrend does not break, there's a better than likely chance that we'll at least come up here to 34, 35, and then possibly bust back up into here, and then we'll see what happens. We have multiple levels to get through before we could ever say this is going to run to the top side. But let's just say this did break up to the top side. I mean, you can see how this could very easily turn things on there you know upside down <clears throat> so do i keep telling everybody be careful longing and shorting and if we had to do an xrp this is my thing if i have to get back into xrp and it breaks up and it uses this 40 cents as support i have no problem buying xrp and buying it at 40 cents and then riding it back up to the top of this pattern or at minimum here but we'll find that out if that were to happen but right now, we're still dealing with this breakdown. We're trying to get some volume in to push us back into these areas. We do have a W formed, but that is a bearish W, which means if, even if we got up to, let's say, 35.79, because this would be a logical resistance spot as well. It's an old support as resistance if you overextend it. Actually, that's the old resistance again, so it could re-verify. But that's 36 cents now up there. And that's if you broke 34.24, then you'd have 36 cents. I'm trying to front run this market so that you guys can see what's going on. And then if you're watching some other channels, you can at least put it in perspective. Because I'm not saying they don't add value. What I am saying is they're here for entertainment purposes is where I take this serious. This is everything to me. If I give you the wrong prediction, I die. You know, on the inside. So, I take it to heart. And I trade it. I use my money. So, but right now, still, this 33.26 is holding as resistance. We haven't had a great deal of volume. I know we had a nice spike, but we have not had a great deal of volume. That is a W reversal, though, if it pulls up. And being bearish, it would either come to 34.26 if it breaks this. Or I could see it maxing out at around the 36 cents. <clears throat> but that's a very big if. As of right now... This is still very bearish. The problem is, is we still have that inverted head and shoulders pattern, as I just said. But I wanted to get everybody up to date there on XRP. XLM's at 10.47, and it's very volatile swings. We're in this descending triangle formation, and you see these volatile swings up and down. And now we've got a heavy resistance at 10.59, and this is just a small short-term pattern to show whether or not we could break up or break out in a short term. But if we break down, obviously, we go to 8.94. So that's what I'm looking at with the XLM, and it's very hard to say what's going on. Man, they are pissed off at each other. They're still beeping the horns. <laughs> but we did have this small breakout so far. We had a back test on this descending triangle support, and we bounced off a of 10.22, and now our next logical target would be 10.59 is where we're hunting right now. So look for the next point at 10.59 to see if we hit rejection. If we continue up, 11.2 would be the next target. And then DGB. DGB is having a hell of a time trying to confirm a breakdown of this. What, what looks like an ascending triangle pattern in the short term on this, this uh, downtrending resistance that comes down. And the overall pattern is a much larger descending triangle, but we are... Up in the support side right now, trying to use it as a resistance side, but it did form into an ascending triangle pattern. I just uh, decided to fill it out like that, just for personal uh, 
you know, for so I can remember. So that's a very key level, though. We're trying to break this uptrending support line right here at about 0102, and we haven't been able to do it. 0109 is the next level, and that's the very heavy resistance. We don't have a ton of volume is the only problem here right now. So we're going to see how we react to 109. We're kind of bouncing between an area. We did come down twice, and this is showing kind of signs that maybe we are starting to break down, but at the end of the day, it could all be a trap because even on DGB, that gigantic inverted head and shoulders is rearing its ugly head all across the board right now. In here, down to the head, right shoulder creating. This could very well pull even DGB back up. I mean, uh, XRP back up. That's the XRP uh, inverted head and shoulders, by the way. Yeah, see, DGBs look so similar. Left shoulder, except it's up on the right, but it could very well pull back up. That's what I'm watching for. I'm making sure these inverted head and shoulders don't play up, and if they do, we're going to make a lot of money off of it regardless. It's just going to cause a lot more pain. It's going to take a lot more time. And with the Fed rate hikes happening in September, again, 75 basis points, I don't see any way possible that we're at the bottom. I know a lot of people are saying we've hit the bottom, or we've had a lot of chatter now about the bottom i just don't see it xrp future millionaire hit that like button what is this the eighth update today